Okay, so um, I had planned on videotaping the move and I lost the camera. Um, the move was all sorts of drama. Um, it started off okay and then became the biggest drama ever um, with the ex-tenant deciding not to leave. So the day we were moving in, we had to move all of her stuff out of the space. So we spent three days moving things that didn't belong to us. So um, put us into a delay, of course. Um, moving is not fun. So, but we're getting there and I have the store kind of set up now. We're kind of been open for a few days and we're still kind of getting it together. So this is a little bit of the store kind of getting set up. Um, I'll give you an example of what it looked like before because it was not pretty. Um, but this is a little bit of the second floor. This is the furniture and art area. So this is the gallery, Thomas Parker Williams paintings that we've been working with him for many years. He's amazing. So it's a little bit of the second floor. We're still waiting for a lot of stock to come in. Um, the gallery, this is my art. So Matthew Izzo paintings. A little bit. But it's a really cool space. Um, it's a great kind of old loft style space. So I'm very excited about it. Everyone in the neighborhood's been super sweet. Kind of letting us know that they're happy to have us here. So we're happy to be here. Some cool little paintings. This is the messy desk, which has got to be cleaned. Um, this is a little bit. We have this really cool elevator. Let's go in the elevator. I love the elevator. I kind of do it, use it all day long because I'm too lazy to use the stairs in the back. So it's noisy. Ready? Elevator ride. <laughs> Kind of entering into the second floor, the first floor. First floor is all clothing. We'll walk through the first floor. There's all kinds of craziness going on, but it's starting to look really beautiful. Everybody's been really happy about it. So I put up some of my paintings. Cool stuff. Good morning. Here's mom working behind the counter making a making pretty. Making a lovely candle bag. Making a lovely candle bag for the AIDS it's fund. A donation. We give a lot of charity donations of our candles um, that we manufacture, so people send to love them. So this is like a little bit of view of the store. It's still kind of getting there. This is part of my collection of um, vintage portraits that I've been collecting for years. There'll be more as we go along, but. This is kind of a basic example of what we're doing. Um, I'll give you an example soon of what it looked like before, because it was a mess, a big old mess. Bye.